Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to learn the simplest and quickest watercolour wreath paintings. Perfect for Christmas, but we're going to turn it into a gorgeous little Christmas decoration. Um, now I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. So grab your paints and let's get started. Whilst I mix up some Christmassy colours, some greens and reds, uh, let me tell you about our Skillshare sponsorship today. So, Skillshare, well, what makes them unique? Um, well, they have a learn by doing approach to teaching. From passion to paycheck, maybe you could make 20, 2024 the year your side hustle comes to life. So obviously we're all thinking about fresh starts, new years, uh, on, following on from Christmas and maybe Skillshare is the place to really make that hope a reality. So whether you want to build a subscriber base for your email newsletter or use AI tools to increase your productivity or open your first Etsy shop, Skillshare can help you get there. And um, what I've found uh, to be really fantastic is a new thing that Skillshare are curating classes into broader learning paths. So they're taking some of their favorite classes and giving you a really wonderful package of everything you need. So I've been looking at um, social media expression, create for Instagram and TikTok, because that's something I have to think about a lot. So you can plan it, produce it and post it. In this learning path, you'll learn how to plan your channels, create engaging content people love and build your audience designed to get you creating for social media right away, which is really helpful because we can all feel a bit lost and overwhelmed sometimes when thinking about marketing ourselves on social media. So the best thing about this is if you're interested, then the first 500 people to use my link in the episode notes below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. What a perfect way to start 2024. So I've been waking up my, my Christmassy colours and we're gonna do a fun little trick here. I've got a, just a simple water glass tumbler, um, but it's got a round, um, a, a round rim, funnily enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create a, a wreath shape by painting colours onto the rim. So we're just gonna be carefully painting. Let's see the side camera there can have a look. So I'm just doing red and green, red and green, lots of water. And I am going to just really immerse the water glass and get it really nice and wet. And then from that, I'm going to place it on my page. And oh, look at that, perfect. So I'm left with a perfect circle uh, and some colour to have a play around with there. Now if you do get a big water blob like that and it's a bit more than you were bargained for, you can just take a bit of kitchen roll and soak it up very easily just like that. But what's brilliant about this is if you are worried about drawing perfect circles or haven't got a compass, this is a great way to start off with. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wet size two brush to just start stretching the color out and oh look we've got ourselves a rather nice little holly leaf and of course you can add colors and things but this is just a really super satisfying way of painting a watercolour reed that's a little bit different. We're always looking for something a little bit different, aren't we? And of course we've got our red here as well. So maybe I'll sort of create a slightly different leaf shape for that one. But it's rather nice to have it sort of bleeding and blending in and out. And then what I rather like is the sort of rather natural sort of brown tones that come when you mix green and red together and how we can create some nice little berries. And you'll notice I haven't gone into my paint palette yet once. It's just all been using water from the colours 
that are in my in my watery wreath here. The colours obviously are going to start to dry and seep into the page a little more as I go round, but on the whole it's going to just be a really lovely colour palette. And the cool thing is, is you could absolutely change this up, choose two different colours. I thought uh, green and red would be a, a good classic. And of course you don't have to, holly doesn't always have to be um, perfect green. It's quite fun doing it in this slightly murky brown colour. I'm just going to go round and fill this in and I will absolutely show you what to do when your wreath dries up as well. So it's not taken long for the wreath to be fairly dried into the page and what we can do now is just add in an extra bit of colour and just sort of paint in the section and work on that one just so it doesn't dry up too fast and then you can easily go back along. I'm gonna do some red holly, how about that? But it's as long as you're sort of getting your brush in your water each time, then you'll be able to really activate what's left on your wreath. So I'm now going to just pop a little bit of green, a bit of wet green into this section here. Using as much of negative space as you can is always really helpful so you can see the leaves have got little, these little sort of slivers of unpainted space down the middle of them. The berries have got little shiny sections. It just creates a much more sort of delicate and beautiful piece. And then the last little bit here, just add a little bit of red and you can see the water's making a channel for the leaf there. Okay, lovely. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry and then we're going to cut it out and turn it into a lovely Christmas decoration. So I'm just cutting out, just leaving a nice sort of amount of space around the edge of the items. I like using like little detail scissors like these for this kind of job. And that gives us a really lovely little sort of painted section. Now, gosh, you could turn this into so many things. You could turn it into a gift tag. It could be um, a little sort of base for a, for a Christmas card. You could sort of stick that on to make a 3D kind of card. But for me, I want to turn it into a Christmas decoration to hang on the tree. So to finish off, I've punched a hole using my trusty hole punch. And now I'm going to thread a ribbon through and I thought I'd do different ways of tying it, but I think I'll do a little do a little knot at the top this time. There we go, so that hangs on the tree really nicely. And if you wanted, you could write a little message. Let me see, what about Dear Ant, Merry Christmas. He's been working very hard, so. Lots of love, Harriet, and Crumble.
and that's a rather nice thing to hang on the tree and maybe we can use it as a gift tag too. So thanks so much for watching and I really hope that you're inspired to get creative this Christmas. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one and don't forget the first 500 people who use the link in the episode notes below will get a free month's trial of Skillshare. So until next time, bye!